Okay, so I'm on the bush today. Uh, it's very wet. You can probably hear the rain behind me, uh, or all around me. Uh, I'm sitting in my shelter. I had, well, what's what you could call a shelter. It's, it's nothing. It's just a bunch of sticks. Uh, I had the intention of coming out today and improving my shelter, actually getting it waterproof. Um, that's not going to happen today. Uh, it actually goes to show me, though, how much I do actually need shelter, not just somewhere where I can sit. Like, I've been using this Morris Kahansky bed. Um, so I actually do need a, uh, a shelter to keep the rain off. So today, I'm going to try and cook a lunch. First off, I'm going to put a tarp up, try and stop the rain overhead, uh, Iowa Woodsman style, and uh, get a one-stick fire going, cook myself up some lunch, and uh, just pretty much test myself on my fire ability, my fire making ability today. Everything is drenched, like I said. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do that today. I'll, I'll be back. All right, so I got my tarp set up. Uh, I actually remembered some of the knots that I learned at the uh, Midwest class, which is really cool. Not to say that my tarp setting abilities are all that good, but at least I learned some knots. Uh, so it's actually not even a tarp, it's just a rain fly from an old tent, but it's gonna have to do. We'll see, we'll see how it holds up. The water is pooling in the spots that are dipping. Um, obviously better tarp setup would, would fix that, but I'm kind of an amateur at it right now, so I'm gonna get my wood ready, I'll be back. All right, so maybe it's gonna be a four stick fire, not a one stick fire. Uh, obviously sawed my pieces of oak into four pieces. It's relatively dry on the inside. There's a check here, so the water's come in a little bit, but that's all right. Uh, it's completely drenched, like I'm soaking wet. Uh, so let's go. So we're nice and dry. Well, at least it's not raining under the tarp. So uh, I'm gonna get to processing the wood and I'll be back. All right, so I've done all my prep, which is here on my bandana. I got my shavings, my scrapings, which I'm leaving attached to the stick because of all the dampness. I think it'll, it'll catch really good on there. So I split down the sticks. Uh, to the very inner inner uh, core of it almost. We have the smaller sticks and the bigger sticks here. Um, then I'll just baton a few after once I get my fire started. I know I should do it first, but I'm confident that I have enough here to get it going while I baton um, uh, more more while it's, while it's going. So to do it on top of, I've just split the piece of oak and I'll put it there in the fire pit to do it on top of. Um, and I'll try and videotape myself lighting it. Uh, just one sec. Alright, so this is what I'm going to start it off with, which is the scrapings. Put it there. I'm going to scrape my fire seal with my awl. Wish me luck, guys. Good base is key, but I don't really have one. I don't know if you can see that, she's lit. Ah, she went out. playing around this time. It's lit. See? I put the smaller pieces on first and across the bigger pieces on top. Let's 
So yeah, that's it. Uh, we just batoned a couple other pieces <clears throat> and threw them on. So it took me, I don't know, I'd say almost an hour, a little less than an hour to do all that. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's the first time I've ever, ever done it. Uh, and this wasn't really a how-to video. This is more or less to see if I could do it or not, t try and test myself. I, that fire is rip-roaring. That's a, that's a big blaze right now. That's not going out at all. And I'll be able to cook my lunch and everything. So, uh, yeah, so I guess I, I did learn my lesson. I need to thatch my poles so it actually becomes a shelter. But uh, all in all, it was good today. I, I rigged up the tarp even though, I'll show you. I uh, I left it saggy, but that was my first time ever doing it, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I, I had fun making this video. I hope you enjoy it.